Common Nature Center. I am Miss Kim. Are you ready for your virtual field trip? Come, let's explore fall. Hi, second graders. We are at the intersection of Cottage Trail and Northfield Loop. And today we're going to be exploring the many different types of seeds that are in this area. Come on, let's go explore. Okay, come on over here. Come take a look at this. So here we have our first example of seeds. So seeds travel in many different ways. And one of the ways they travel is by air. So this flower, see how it's got these little tufts, looks like little fur? That is tufts that will actually catch in the air and will fly to a new place. This is a different example that's the same thing. They have little tufts and actually floats through the air. Seed dispersal or traveling seeds, they travel in so many ways. It's so important to know that there's not, there's more than one way to get the job done. And depending on the type of plant it is, depends on the type of job it does. And we're gonna look more and see what different jobs there are that these seeds can do to be able to get to their new destination to be able to grow in the spring. Okay, everybody take a look at this tree. Anybody know what tree this is? I'll give you a hint. It grows a piece of fruit that's round and red and is delicious in the fall. That's right, this is an apple tree. And apples have in the center what? Right, seeds. It has a little seed in there. Now some seeds grow in vegetables and fruit and there's a reason for it. That's right, the way the seed actually travels. So we'll just imagine a deer comes up, picks an apple off of the apple tree, eats it, gets into his belly, and where do you think those seeds go? Right, it gets pooped out. So the deer will eat that apple, travel a mile and a half, and poops it out. And lo and behold, if there's the right factors, that seed will start to grow. What are the factors to have a seed grow? Pretty simple. Sunlight, water, space, and good soil. If it has those four factors, it can grow. So let's keep exploring. Ah, an oak tree. Let me see here. Oak trees form acorns. Let's see if I can find a good seed here. Ah, here we go. So here's one that's kind of smashed open. And here is a full acorn. Acorns have a hard shell on top because the outer part has to make it from all the way up high in that tree and land on the ground. So this is like, kind of like a bicycle helmet for a seed. It protects it when it hits on that hard ground to keep that inner part all together. And then it will split open in the springtime to be able to grow. Come on up. We're gonna get really close.
See here? This is a cattail. Cattails are really cool. And no, it's not from a real cat. This is a plant and it grows in wetlands. Cattails have these tufts. It has little teeny tiny seeds attached to these tufts. These seeds travel in two ways. One is by the tufts. The fluff will actually float in the air. Can you see that? There it goes. Floats in the air. When it lands in the water, the water will move it and it will plant itself along the shorelines. The cattails will grow when it has enough water and sunlight. And it's really neat because cattails will weave their roots together like this and they can float on top of the water. Sometimes when you're in places that have really strong currents like our St. Lawrence River will actually break those roots apart and you will see the cattails floating down the river like this. So there's more than one way that these seeds can travel. Hi guys! Today we're going to do a fun activity and then also have a neat activity on our sheet. First you need is some tape. Some really good packing tape, uh, masking tape will do. Whatever you like, uh, make sure it's relatively a light color. You don't want black tape because it'll be harder to see. What you're going to do is take a good sheet, a piece of tape, rip it, and then you're going to tape it to your leg. Make sure it's nice and tight so it doesn't fall off. You can do more than one piece if you like. I'm just going to do one. And then what you're going to do is take your sheet and you're going to go for a walk. So you're going to follow me through the field here and around and then we're going to see what happens. So these are all the different seeds that we found just trooping around for just a moment in the field. If you were a wild animal, your fur would capture all these seeds and then drop in other places. So seeds can travel through the air, through the water, through pooping, and through fur. So now we're gonna do our worksheet here. It's pretty simple. You're gonna take your tape and you're gonna use your artistic skills to draw all these little seeds. Now don't panic, not everybody's an artist. You see how like this has got a little tough? You're gonna draw it like this. You see how this is long and kind of looks like a stick? draw like that. This one looks kind of like a triangle, right? So I'm gonna draw a triangle. So have fun with it. Draw different shapes. Don't worry about if it looks beautiful. Just look at different shapes and sizes. When you're done with your picture, you're gonna go down here. You're gonna go for a walk, explore schoolyard, explore the woods, wherever you want to, many different places. 
and you're gonna do a tally. Now a tally is really easy. So if you find a seed with a husk, you're just gonna make a line. See that? If you found a seed, uh, a, like a fruit or a vegetable with a seed, you make a line. And you do that for each one. So we have one for husk. We have one for seeds that you poop out. We have seeds that flow in the water, seeds that are in the air, seeds that get trapped in fur, or seeds with a hard husk, or, or excuse me, that get eaten by our animals. So see, there's a little chewing that was probably from a squirrel or a chipmunk. And see how many different kinds of seeds you can find. Have fun, guys. <laughs>